If I told you there were endless opportunities to attract new clients and endless opportunities to grow your business, would you believe me? I wouldn't believe me either. Stay tuned to watch the video. Well, folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you can feel cool. <laughs> Give it to me. Hey, it's Al Zay Calhoun with Covenant Consultant, and I want to tell you some things that people should have just told you a long time ago. Today, I'm talking about this idea of lead generation. Now, if I told you that, that you know great clients are everywhere, would you believe me? No, and I wouldn't believe me either. But let's put some context around that. What you do with some level of expertise in digital marketing, whether, whether that is website design, whether it's graphic design, whether it is copy, whether it is content, whether it is uh, optimization work, et cetera, because we all know those things, they come together in, in some way, right? Online presence all, all comes together in, in, in some way. Picture for a second of you getting in your car right now, you back out of your driveway, and you drive to the grocery store just right now. Walk to your, in, in your mind, walk to your car, turn the key, back out of your driveway, and now drive to the grocery store. How many businesses do you pass between your house and the grocery store? Five, 10, 20, 30? My point is just between you and the grocery store, there are clients that you bump into all along the way. Right? There are clients everywhere. And if you drive further, you'll find even more clients, right? Or more possibilities for new clients. The issue that you're having is that either you are scared to approach those clients or potential clients, or you honestly feel that you're irrelevant to them. One or the other. Either, either you have a fear of approaching them or you have a, a concern about your relevance. So now let's go a little, a little, a little deeper. You've got some decisions to make. You've got to figure out if what you have honestly solves a problem for the people you intend to serve. Forget the niche, forget, forget picking some, some, some fancy niche or, or, or what have you. At a very base level, in, in your business, are you just selling services, work that you want to do, expertise that you think that you have, or are you actively solving a problem for the business owner? Newsflash, the business owner does not want more social media stuff. They don't, more, they don't want more website stuff. What they want is what a good web presence will get them. So whatever your angle is on this thing called digital marketing, you have to make sure that, that through digital marketing, your client can get a result. If you do that, you will find how you describe your services to be much more interesting. If you do that, you will find yourself to have much more courage when presenting your services to people because you know what you do will actually improve their situation. If you do that, you will find that you'll have so much more relevance to those you speak to because now you're not just pitching services to them, you are actively solving problems. Take a moment of reflection. What you do, what you know, your specific area of expertise, are we solving a problem or are we just selling services. Hey, it's Alzea again, and I appreciate you for watching that video. I know that things are really straightforward when they're here on the screen, neatly laid out and everything. But if you wanna take the next step, what do you do? Well, you got a couple of choices. You can subscribe to the channel, you can watch another video, but if you're looking for actual, actionable support, if you want help, if you really are looking forward to changing these things in your business, there's a free training that I have. There's a link in the description below and there's a link here on the screen for you to select. So if you click that link, watch the training, and if it makes sense, you can join our community. Thanks again for your time.